Hi everyone, Gerge here. In today's video, we're gonna see how to create a minimalist coffee machine concept and then after that, how to place it into a scene. So let's jump in. I'm just gonna create a file. Set up the canvas as a square orientation to fit the coffee machine's proportions. And I already made the sketch inside Viscom, so I will just upload this as an image. In this example, I will just want to visualize this coffee machine idea in a coffee shop scene. I will delete, erase this part since I want this entire section to be a digital screen. I want to leave this part blank for now. Okay, so as a first rendering step, I just want to fill it out with volume. I want to have a sense of depth on the image, but I still want to focus on my product. So I will retain this simple white background by simply selecting the sketch input sketch itself with the lasso selection tool in this case you can also hit g on the keyboard but i'm just creating a quick outline drawing here and i'm telling viscom to focus only on the sketch and then i can come to the prompt section and i just want to have like a silver volume of a coffee machine so i can just say silver coffee machine and that should be totally enough Keeping it in the Viscom general, we'll make sure that it's a toned down photorealistic rendering that I will want to get. And I'll keep the drawing influence 100% in order to retain these lines as much as possible. And let's just see the renderings. Uh, okay, awesome. Something like this is exactly what I'm looking for. Alternatively, I will just add this to my canvas, but I can also go slightly lower on the influence in order for it to have a bit more freedom to maybe visualize some of the surfaces in a more realistic way or in a nicer way, it will be up to us what we want here. I like this snorkel part, so I will probably choose this proposal and I click on the X icon. I can just reveal the previous one. That's quite nice as well. If there are artifacts that you want to just quickly remove, what you can do is select the artifacts. You can also paint over these that might be that might also be helpful but i will just quickly select these and i'll go to render no prompt zero percent drawing influence we'll make sure to implement these artifacts and details into the overall aesthetic something like this can work and then after that i can also just click on the x icon and if there are like halo markings around the mask what i can just also quickly do is i can just refine this area let's say or maybe this one as well I can just do a simple refine pass. I don't even need to use any prompt. Refine will, refine will grab the, the visual from the canvas, but essentially I can just refine these unwanted details into the overall aesthetic yet again. You can hit escape to reset the canvas at its original position. And I'll deselect the mask. And we have a clean visual to start with. So I can put a quick rectangle on this part of the coffee machine to replicate a screen. And then after that, I'll just adjust the opacity and clean up with the eraser tool. So what I can also do is I can duplicate this layer to have this screen effect, let's say. You can find the paint bucket tool under the brush tool. I can set the white color. And here I would just make this layer white and get pretty low on opacity. After that, I can move it by clicking on M on the keyboard and I can rescale it to get a little bit of a border effect here. I will also need a highlight on the screen for the refine to pick up on the actual aesthetic. So I will also duplicate the black layer and make it white once again with the paint bucket tool, keeping it, uh, let's bring it up and make it white. This way I can use the eraser tool to to just have some sort of highlight effect on it in a more artistic way, um, something like that. And I can also get back from the actual opacity of it. But essentially, we created this rough indication of the screen. You can see that it's a rough sketch over compared to the rest of the aesthetic. But by a simple selection on this area, saying it, this will be a digital screen and transitioning to refine, I can just set the influence a bit lower and I can generate since I made the heavy lifting by painting on it, I don't have to necessarily render a completely new screen with, with random reflections. I can still keep it to my original one by just refining on this already existing aesthetic. 
and I'm, I was just looking for this softer highlights and, uh, and a more nicer and more realistic implementation of the screen. I like this one, so I can add this to the canvas. If I also want to add a nice cup, I can also just catch it in pretty quickly. And I will actually select this entire part and I will describe this coffee machine is filling up the coffee mug as a sort of scene since I selected a broader area in this case. And with the drawing influence, I can still go quite low as like 55%. So here it could really nicely just tighten up this original intention of the visual. It already, it also added this nice reflection here. So I'll add this to my canvas. When I'm ready with this rough concept of a coffee machine, I can also put this into an alternative scene by the new reference image feature. So if I go back to the render tab, I can find the image icon under the style section and I can upload here a scene describing image for instance. And I can also set how strongly I want to apply the reference image. I will use 50% because I will want to select the entire canvas with the selection tool by clicking on Ctrl A or Command A. And with the drawing influence here, I will want to use maximum drawing influence 100% because I want to retain my concept as truly as possible. I just suddenly want to place it into an alternative environment. And the last thing is that we can describe this scene as coffee machine in a coffee shop uh, table. So we just kind of describe the scene uploaded this reference image and have a selection which is going to very intelligently place it into an alternative scene in this case. Just like that we got we got this really nice scene with the actual bokeh effect reflected from the reference image as well. We can just click through on some of these results and we can notice that it didn't really change a lot on the coffee machine itself. It just placed it into an alternative scenario maybe with different textures and with different reflections definitely because of the environment. So these are quite cool visuals, but we can still keep generating with different strength sliders if you want to have alternatives. If I want to make it more subtle, I can go as low as like 30% or even lower and regenerating it. So this is like a more subtle scene on the coffee machine. But we can also do a stronger scene with like, let's say 75%. So this is an effective way to finish off your product design process by placing them into alternative scenes or just applying them different materials as well. And of course you can go into the granular details, but essentially I have a really nice visualization of my product in an alternative environment. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you find this useful and definitely try this out in your workflow. Have a good one.